Traffic, traffic, looking for my chapstick, feeling kind of caustic. There's a Ford Maverick. Love It's Random Life! Yo, what up, random lifers? Coming at you with a new episode of Foreign Flavors. So we got a big shout out to Campbell Jenkins. He brought me something that I'm really excited about. Kale's. It is essentially a pureed fish eggs. It's a topping. Uh, you put it on crackers or bread or I don't know, whatever the Swedes do with it, right? Uh, that's how we're gonna try it. Now, if you guys have been in my class in the last couple of years, you'll know that one of the channels on YouTube that I like to use a lot, we show a lot of videos, is Great Big Story. Happy eating. And one of the videos that we show during the Europe unit is that in Sweden, they have this obsession with food in a tube. In Sweden, it's not uncommon to get your daily sustenance from a tube. Think astronauts, right? Like everything's in like a toothpaste tube. When we were going through the Europe unit, we had this idea that everybody was gonna like bring a quarter and that with the money that we brought, I would get on Amazon and I'd buy a bunch of this Swedish food in a tube. And like nothing ever happened. I didn't think anything more about it. So this past week, Campbell comes back and he walks up to me and he goes, hey, I got you something. I'm like, oh great, awesome. The king of food tubes, Kallis Caviar. In Sweden, they put all kinds of stuff, not just condiments, like, like all kinds of stuff in tubes. The most famous of those is Kale's. Kale's, smoked cod row, just for you. Like he is so happy right now. So let's try it. Well, we'll need our Kale's. We'll need our styrofoam lunch tray, seeing as I work in school and everything. Some plastic utensils, some crackers, maybe a little cream cheese, we'll try that. And of course, a Mountain Dew to wash it all down. I'm just gonna start with a just a giant, a giant wallop here, dollop, whatever. You can see it's pretty creamy here. Um, spread it out. Hmm. Spread, spread, spread. And here we go. It's different. Right off the bat. You know when you go to the beach and you go to a seafood restaurant at the beach, you know that smell when you walk in? That's what it tastes like. If you've ever had smoked salmon, it tastes kind of like that, but it's got the texture more of caviar, but the, the smokiness of it, smoked, you know, creamed, smoked, roe, cod roe, it's definitely smoked. Like that's, you definitely get that. I'm going to try another one here. This time I'm really going to kind of lay it on here. If you're not a big fan of seafood, you're not, you're not going to love this, for sure. Pretty, <clears throat> pretty fishy. When I knew this was a smoked seafood product, I had a feeling that a little cream cheese might help. This cream cheese just came right out of the fridge, so it's it's pretty uh, pretty solid here. Crackers broken, tastes the same. Try a little bit on this one. Okay, the uh, the cream cheese definitely helps. Like it went for me as something that was just tolerable. To something that's actually pretty good now it cuts it cuts that smokiness way down 
uh, adds to the creaminess a little bit. The cracker gives it the crunch. Um, I definitely like the cream cheese on it uh, with the, uh, the product here. Yeah. All right. Let's get crazy. I'm going to put a giant, a giant cream cheese on here. Just insane amounts. Like just insane amounts. That's a lot of cream cheese right there. Now, now a lot of this. That's, that's crazy actually. This thing, like this is heavy. This is a heavy cracker of stuff. You know what I'm gonna do for you? Random lifers, I'm gonna eat this in one bite. Good stuff. Kale's just for you. Yeah, overall, you know, this isn't something I would drive to Atlanta from Birmingham for. Glad I tried it. Just a huge shout out to Campbell. Uh, thanks for paying attention in class. Thanks for learning something. And thanks for just thinking of me when you went out. Sweden, thanks for this.